And Joe elect Joe Biden is expected to detail his vaccine distribution plan. He's set a goal to administer 100 million vaccines within his first 100 days in office. A very lofty goal. We're also learning more about Biden's COVID relief package that he hopes will help millions of Americans struggling with the pandemic. CBS 4's Deborah Offerone has more from Washington. We must act now and act decisively. President-elect Joe Biden's plan to rescue a ravaged economy would offer direct relief by sending $1,400 stimulus checks, extending and increasing unemployment insurance from $300 to $400 a week, and providing a higher child tax credit. The crisis of deep human suffering is in plain sight, and there's no time to waste. The Thursday night speech also served as Mr. Biden's first formal sales pitch to lawmakers, especially Republicans who will likely balk at the nearly $2 trillion price tag. I know what I just described does not come cheaply. The failure to do so will cost us dearly. The proposal also includes $440 billion for helping communities and small businesses and aims to bump up the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Mr. Biden unveiled details on the same day the Labor Department announced nearly 1 million people filed for unemployment the first week of this month, up by around 23 percent from the week before. That we're in the middle of the once in several generations economic crisis. He said the economic spiral is linked to the pandemic, calling for $400 billion to deal with COVID-19, including more money for testing, assisting schools, and vaccinations. The vaccine rollout in the United States has been a dismal failure thus far. Today, Mr. Biden plans to unveil how his administration will roll out the vaccine, promising they will deliver 100 million shots in the first 100 days of his presidency. Weijia Jiang, CBS News. President like Biden is urging lawmakers to pass the package fast, but senators will also likely be in the middle of a President Trump's second impeachment trial and confirmation hearings for Biden's cabinet nominees. The president-elect has suggested splitting up the workday so they can do it all. 